This segment of Delmarva Life is sponsored by ANA Companies. It is safe to say that we're all looking to do our part to be more environmentally friendly while saving a few dollars in the long run. Uh, that goes especially for heating and cooling our homes, and that is why, if you haven't heard about geothermal energy, it checks both of those boxes. It can actually be up to 70% more efficient while emitting no greenhouse gases and has a durability of up to, 50, uh, to a 50-year lifespan. There are, yes, some misconceptions about what it takes to install and repair these impressive systems. And here with us this afternoon to help clear some of it up, Mindy Allen Townsend, who is the Vice President with a and Companies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, geothermal. Um, start me off with how it works. So geothermal is uh, different than a heat pump. It uses the ground's temperature at, um, to heat and cool your home. So basically in the heating season, it is putting heat back into the ground, or no, I'm sorry. In the heating season, it's pulling the heat out of the ground. In the summer season, it's putting it back in the ground. So what makes this so efficient? Because it's not using outside air. Heat pumps um, use outside air to heat and cool your home. Okay. So when it gets below, say, 32 degrees outside, then it's calling for backup heat because it's sucking in cold air. Cold air. Heat pumps or geothermal units don't do that. They're utilizing the ground's temperature um, that stays constant at you know 50 degrees ish all year round to heat and cool your home. Okay, so you're talking about the ground. What does it take to install them? Um, so geothermal is much more involved than a heat pump. Um, I, I do not sugarcoat that at all. So if we're coming into a new home or a new construction home or even a residential retrofit that has a heat pump, um, basically ductwork is ductwork. It can work with a geothermal system. It can work with a heat pump. So if you have an existing home and have ductwork, you want to convert from a heat pump or a gas furnace to say a geothermal system, your ductwork, as long as it's in good condition, it's fine. It's fine. Um, what it takes for a geothermal system is A, it's in conditioned space. An, I say condition space. It's in. It's inside. Okay. So garage, closet, um, attic space, anything like that. It doesn't sit outside. Um, and then you have to have a loop field. So um, years ago, there was a handful of people that installed geothermal. The greater than 50% of them installed open loop systems. Um, we are a closed loop system installer. Closed loop systems are more, much more efficient than an open loop system. Um, and they are they have a longer lifespan. Um, so what's involved in a closed loop system is you have to have a well driller. We partner with Somerset Well Drilling out of Westover. Mm -hmm. um, they come in, they drill our loops for us um, vertically at 180 feet, and then we trench them in at a three to five foot depth from the trench site to the house and tie them into the geothermal system. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anything breaks eventually. Yes. So how hard are these things to repair? So they. Uh, I'm not going to say they're hard to repair. It's what we specialize in. Right. Um, however, there's a lot of companies out there that don't have the capabilities to be able to repair them properly, especially on the loop side. So we are one of the only heating and air conditioning companies on this side of the Bay Bridge that have the technology and the um, tools to be able to repair anything from the ground to the system and the system as a whole. Um, nine out of 10 of your heating and air conditioning companies, if you call and you say, hey, my flow center, my circulator pumps are leaking, they're going to tell you to call a well driller. Um, you call a well driller, you can call every well driller in the phone book. There's only a couple of them that are going to do geothermal repairs and they're probably weeks out um, because they're well drillers. They right. drill water wells, etc. Um, so you know, we have the capability to, if somebody comes in and hits your loop field, dig in your septic. We can come in, we can dig it up, we can repair it, we can flush it, we can do all of those things because we have the tools to be able to do so, unlike a lot of other heating and air conditioning companies. Yeah. So when it comes to the, to the quality of your air, does it improve it? Um, so a geothermal system is going to provide you the same type of heat or air conditioning that a heat pump does. Okay. The benefit to a geothermal system is, once again, it doesn't, it's not subject to outside air. So it's not going to call for backup heat. Geothermal systems only call for backup heat if there's a problem or if you increase the temperature on your thermostat drastically. Um, I have geothermal installed in my house. Um, I've, had my, I've lived in my house now for almost 15 years. My systems have only ever called for auxiliary heat twice in 15 years, and wow. that's simply because of a failure. Um, and so they are much more reliable right. um, than, than a heat pump when it gets cold outside. They also are not going to run and run and run in the air conditioning mode because they're not pulling in 100 degree air outside. They're utilizing 
the ground's temperature to keep you at a constant. Um, the only thing I will say about geothermal is there's much more working parts. So a heat pump, you have a heat pump, an air handler, ductwork, a line set. You know, you have all the standard components that a geothermal system has, coils, compressors, fan motors, circuit boards, all of those things. But on a geothermal system, you have the other piece to that, which is the water side. So right. you have your loop field, your flow center, your circulator pumps, all of those things. Now they have a long life expectancy if you have good wa water quality and all of those things, but that's an added side of that, that you know heat pumps don't have. Right. But they are so much more efficient. They're, you know, not only in the efficiency, they're quieter. Um, they are, they reduce your electric consumption. There's grants in the state of Maryland Del and Delaware to install them. Um, there's also a 30% federal tax credit. If you install geothermal, you can claim up to 30% on your federal taxes as a deduction. So whatever your contract is to have it installed, you can claim up to 30% of that. You taught me a lot this afternoon. <laughs> Mindy Allen Townsend, thank you so much for talking to oh, me. Oh, thank you for having wow. me. Wow.